it's my personal opinion that all rules are meant to be broken. So in other words, when we're brewing and we say, oh, you have to do this, or you have to do that, you might want to try breaking those rules. Who knows? You may discover something special and new. I like rule breaking. However, there's one rule that we really got to stay with, and that's great sanitation. Now, when we did the show on first time home brewer, in which we demonstrated doing our very first brew after we bought a kit from the home brew in our town, well, sanitation was discussed. And what did we use for sanitation? Good old bleach in the form of Clorox. It works fine. And for the most part, if you've bought a kit, you're ready to brew, and all of a sudden you realize, uh-oh, I need sanitation. Most people have got Clorox or bleach of some sort in their home, and it works just fine. Now, there's some discussions about the possibility of chlorine being a problem in the brew. Now, there's some discussions, of course, that it's the chlorine in the Clorox that is going to create a problem for you. Well, I think if you use it well enough and smart enough by just using a small quantity and letting it drain well, you're not going to have a problem. However, it's not what I normally use, and that's what we're getting into today. All right. First of all, we've got to clean whatever it is that we're wanting to sanitize. Now, oftentimes, it can be like our boil pot that's going to end up with grunge in it, kegs with grunge in it, whatever it might be, bottles. Well, what I use for my primary cleaning is PBW. What is that? Powdered Brewery Wash. It was created originally for the Coors Company, but now brewers everywhere are using this product to clean the grunginess off of your stuff. So, you take the instructions are very explicit. You take a certain quantity for the amount of water you're using. Use good hot water around 130 degrees. Soak your stuff. This stuff works great. It will eliminate the grunge inside of tubing lines or your overflow bottles, whatever else has got horrible grunge. So now we've got everything clean. Well, I use two different kinds of sanitizers. And I'll explain exactly why. This is my favorite. Outdoor 4. It's an iodine-based sanitizer. You basically use 6 milliliters per gallon of water as a concentration, and it sanitizes anything it contacts in about 2 minutes' time. No rinsing necessary. All you have to do, dump it, and now your whatever you sanitized is ready to use. I usually end up mixing up a bucket of it, and I'll put all kinds of things. If it's tubing, it could be lids, uh, bubblers, wh whatever. I put everything in there. But sometimes <laughs> I get a little too quick, dump out my beautiful sanitizer, and I had that one little last thing to sanitize. Darn. Well, I use Five Star. And what it is, is I mix this up in a spray bottle. <laughs> and it's so easy. So now I can spray this right on to whatever it is I need to have sanitized. It's a foaminess. Stays there. Again, no rinsing, no taste, no flavor, no problems. It is a fantastic sanitizer. So that's how I clean and sanitize all of my equipment. My favorite which is probably the cheapest, and then, of course, my standby when I screw up. So, give them a try. I think you will like them.